Hello and welcome to this uh, review video. My name is James and I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite pieces of equipment, the Rode NTG2 Super Cardioid Condenser Shotgun Mic. So obviously, uh, if you're familiar with shotgun mics, it's very good if you are um, ENG, electronic news gathering, if you're interviewing someone, you, you put this mic right on top of your camera and it will pick up whatever is in front of it. And here's, here's the actual front of the mic. And that's great when you're trying not to pick up any like ambient noise or background noise. It does an amazing job, which I'm, I'm going to demonstrate at the end of this video. But I just want to go through some of the features here. It's about 269 I think now on Amazon. It's well worth it because uh, if you are, I'm a professional videographer and filmmaker. So I've used this for both um, in both of my uh, businesses, especially with filmmaking or doing videos like this. Right now I'm using a wireless uh, mic uh, from VidPro, but uh, many people what they do is they, especially if they're on camera, and they don't want to show the la la uh, lavalier mic on their shirt. They'll have this right on top of the camera. Best spot for it actually is just like they do on, on broadcast TV. It'll be above the, the screen where you don't see it, but it'll be almost right on top of the person speaking, whoever, whoever is on screen, so that it'll pick them up, um, you know, right, right there. So it'll do a great job doing that. It'll just pick up that person and really nothing around it. So let me go through some of the features again. Uh, it's got an XLR output, so you can connect this to your soundboard or right to your camera if it takes XLR. Um, mine has, um, um, I have a little mixer that then connects to my camera because the camera itself doesn't have an XLR, but I bought a separate mixer that has um, uh, XLR inputs so that I can go, I can use XLR. It's a more balanced audio uh, connection. So this is a condenser mic. And as you know, uh, compared to a dynamic mic, condenser mics need power to operate. The cool thing about this is that you can power it either with the, the typical phantom power, but let me just open this up, or a simple AA battery. I love this, and I use this a lot because obviously sometimes I'm shooting outdoors, but even outdoors, uh, you can get the phantom power if you're not using battery from either a mixer, like I have a Behringer uh, mixer that has that phantom power capability. It's a little button I turn on and off, so obviously if I wanna give some power to the mic, I turn it on, and it's a 48 volt, it'll send uh, power to the mic so it starts working. Uh, another a source of uh, phantom power comes from my digital recorder, which I'll review in a separate video. So I, so most of the times I am using the AA battery. It, it, it gives the same amount of power, it's great. I, I think, um, and it lasts I think about six hours straight. The other thing it has, which I love, um, you can, you know how you have uh, certain levels of audio. This thing has what they call a high pass filter. So anything over 80 Hertz um, or any, anything under 80 Hertz will not be picked up. Now, what is anything under 80 Hertz? The, the most common uh, sound that it's in the lower level, but you can really hear it and you, you don't want it in your audio, especially if you're doing a movie, is air conditioning. You can hear the humming of that air conditioning if it turns on. And sometimes you just can, depending where you're shooting, Let's say it's not your house, you have no, no control over the, the AC uh, and you can't turn it off, then this feature is awesome to have on this microphone. So it's re the nice thing is it's recessed so that you don't accidentally turn it on and off. Um, you need a little screwdriver. I'm pulling it in really close. You can see it. There's a little notch. So the top, if you push it to the top, right now it's off because it's, it's towards the bottom. If I take a little screwdriver and push it up, um, towards this this little symbol that means the high pass filter is on also known as low cu low cut filter uh, it's pretty much the same thing it's basically blocking anything below 80 hertz and usually it's those like i said uh, air conditioning humming which you don't want in your in your audio so you turn that guy on and it does a great job eliminating that noise so it comes with the mic and it comes with a pouch, you know, carrying pouch right here. You know, I believe the it does come with a you know holder if you want to put it on the stand. So and you can just screw it on there. 
but like I said, this is a great, great mic. So I'm going to demonstrate right now. And before I do, um, click the link that I have in the description to buy this mic. Um, you will be doing me a favor because I'm doing this review. Uh, you don't pay anything extra. All you're doing to help me is that when you buy it through my link, I get a little commission. Not a lot, you know, and don't make, I'm not going to be a millionaire, but, but a little commission comes back to me just for kind of, you know, helping me support and, and doing these, and these, these videos. But again, no, you don't pay anything extra. It's the same price for you and anybody else. It's just that I will get a little commission if you buy it through my link. So I would really appreciate that. And also subscribe to this channel because I am going to be reviewing pretty much every piece of equipment I own. I have a lot of equipment as a professional videographer and filmmaker. So stay tuned because I'll be reviewing everything from lights to audio equipment to, you know, special effects, editors, all that stuff. So, uh, but this, right now it's about this. So I'm going to do a little sample. So right now you're hearing me from my VidPro UHF wireless uh, mic. And now I'm going to, this next one will be the sound from this microphone. Okay, now I've got the Rode mic plugged in and I'm pointing it directly at me as if uh, someone's doing an interview and they have this on the top of the camera. So it's pointing right at me at my mouth and that's picking up pretty well. I can hear it. Uh, also, I can put it, like I said, if I'm doing a movie, I'm now going to put it above my head almost like they do in the in the talk shows and pointing again down towards my mouth but it's above my head so if i was filming it would be out of camera view it'll be just above the camera view so that you can hear it and it picks up pretty nice and right now i don't have that um high pass filter turned on so i'm gonna do it both ways pulling it up like i'm holding it like a mic like you you would use a dynamic mic if you were singing a song or something i'm holding it like that now so this is what you're hearing and i think it's pretty it's pretty clear i'm gonna do it again one more time with the um high pass filter turned down that's that little switch i was showing you uh, i need of course a little screw to get in there okay so now the high pass filter or low cut filter whatever you want to call it is turned on so this should eliminate any noise even though my ac is not on now but any noise below 80 hertz uh this way you can eliminate any of those low rumbling sounds and your your audio sound a lot cleaner again i'm pointing it as if it was on top of the camera pointing at me now i'm pointing it above my head as if i was doing a talk show host uh talk show sorry talk show and you wanted to keep the camera just out of camera uh, view and then finally, I'm going to use it like if I was uh, singing a song, so it's a little closer to my mouth. And either way, it sounds great. I love this mic. I use it for many purposes. Again, I know I mentioned it. Click the link in the description of this video so that you can help me out. Uh, again, no extra cost for you, but uh, it would help me out if you buy it through my link uh, as a thank you for this review. And then, um, and like I said, uh, sign up or uh, subscribe to this channel and like this video that's another thing i meant i meant to mention like the video that helps a lot uh with views and people just keep coming back for more if you want to get alerted of my next you know new videos that pop up uh then just click the little bell it'll uh, it'll give you a notification that a new video has been posted and uh, that's it so thanks for watching i appreciate it and just look out for more gear that i'm going to review bye